On the stage here, we have Glenn Maxwell, founder and president of the Terra Mar Project, a nonprofit whose mission is to create a global ocean community to protect and promote sustainable development of the ocean. Glenn is easily one of the smartest, most fascinating people I've ever met. This is proven by the fact that she holds a bachelor's and master's degree from Oxford University, is a private helicopter pilot, a trained EMT, a qualified ROV, which I had to look up what that was, and a deep worker submarine pilot, in addition to being fluent in four languages. This is what I, what I had written down before I realized that she spoke at the UN nine times since the last time I saw her. So with that, I'd like to welcome Glenn Maxwell. I'm now going to invite the person who has been the inspiration behind the Sustainable Oceans Alliance, I, who really has something called Terramar Project. She controls the oceans around the world. I, if, you, if you were to look up the website, you have the opportunity to buy up parts of the ocean through her. And, and, and really, the Sustainable Oceans Alliance came together at the insistence of one person who is in the room. I don't know, I have to look for him. His name is Stephen Haft. Where is Stephen? Oh, Stephen, please get up. I, Stephen has been a passionate person behind the Ocean Alliance saying, we need to do something. Uh, and he got us together, uh, Ambassador Beck and I, and uh, with Ghislaine Maxwell, and we set up the Oceans Alliance. And we are very grateful to Stephen for his support. And therefore, I invite my dear friend, Ghislaine Maxwell, to tell us how we can own the oceans. You have three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Please. I'll do my best. Um, first of all, um, Your Excellencies, Presidents, Lords, ladies and gentlemen, um, I just would like to thank you so much, and it's such an honor to be here. Um, the World Bank quotes, uh, poor ocean management leads to approximately $50 billion in lost revenue annually. Um, this is the actual tuna that was sold last year for $1.7 million. And uh, I want to come to Palau, actually. Uh, as, uh, as Karen said, 100 uh, million sharks are taken out of the ocean, have their fins cut off, and uh, for, fin, for fin soup, thrown back alive into the ocean to die. And uh, Palau, very brilliantly, uh, closed their waters to shark finning soup, uh, to shark finning and ultimately shark finning soup, and uh, turned what was... Uh, worth about $200 per fin into something worth $1.9 million over their lifetime, as, he, as the president said so rightly, uh, for, through tourism. Um, I, I raise this again because it's absolutely vital that the combination between our, the use of our oceans, not only for the various reasons that both uh, Miller, David Miliband said and Karen and others, for the oxygen and the food, uh, but also there has to be a, uh, a link between uh, industry and uh, the people and the use of our planet so that all these things combine together to make uh, a sustainable ocean because without money at the bottom and without um, it's not going to work. So I started the Terramar project and the point of the Terramar project is to connect each and every one of us to our global oceans to the high seas because it does belong to you. We give you a, a passport, a, a daily online newspaper, an education platform, a, a government structure and a, a way to to connect to your oceans as, as you never have been able to before. Fish do not vote, but we do. And if we do, and we, uh, we tell our politicians that we want the oceans to become sustainable, then the goal is to have every politician end up with a policy uh, framework and a decision on how they treat the oceans. And hopefully that will be sustainable because that is what we, the people, want. Um, a sustainable development goal at the UN is, I think, a fantastic thing. The United Nations is absolutely the right place to lead this. They are the only place that has this global reach. Uh, all the people can come together to uh, create this goal that will then uh, be the planetary uh, mandate 
for the next 15 years of how we treat our oceans. So I really want the people, each and every one of us, 7 billion of us on the planet, to come together, to sign up, to get your passport, to make your voice heard so that the UN and each ambassador can hear what's what we want and all politicians know that no sustainable ocean means we won't vote them back into power. If we won't vote them back into the power, then they're out. We'll find someone who will to support the oceans. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.